ever television interview. It was conducted just a few weeks ago by Dante Benuto for Music Box. Dante talked to Phil about his attempts to get a new career and a new band underway after the demise of Thin Lizzy. When Thin Lizzy finally split up, you put together a band called Grand Slam, who yeah. toured quite a bit, and I, I did some demos, I would imagine, but never signed a major record deal. And yet now you've gone solo from Grand Slam and the band don't exist, you've signed with Polydor. Why couldn't Grand Slam get a recording contract? I don't know. I mean, Grand Slam couldn't get a deal at all. And then a couple of the lads got bored and, you know, the, they left, so I was forced to go solo. The minute I went solo, people started offering me deals. I got a deal with Polydor. I got, you know, Gary asked me to do some stuff with him. I was working with Paul Hardcastle. I've been writing some stuff with Rick Parfit from Status Quo. You know, and all these things that happened to me so, since I went solo. But I think if, if maybe um, Grand Slam suffered the backlash from the Thin Lizzy support because obviously a band that potentially could be good compared to, you know, a band that had been around like 12 years with a string of hits, you know, um, and doing completely opposite venues because Lizzy were playing major venues and right. Grand Slam were doing sort of smaller venues. I just don't think uh, Grand Slam won in the comparison, so... Also, you had the same formation as Thin Lizzy with two guitar players and yourself doing bass and vocals. Um, do you think maybe people couldn't accept seeing you outside of Thin Lizzy because they'd become such an institution? I don't know. You know, like, this is all supposition. You know, I, I, all I'm saying is that Grand Slam couldn't get a deal, you know, with, when the band... Maybe we were bad, you know, maybe people just genuinely didn't like it, but... I mean, I was, in, I was given it 100%. And then when it fell through, like, things started to happen and I landed on my feet. And well, the material sounds good because Military yeah. Man was from, yeah. was from Grand Slam and so was 19, I understand, yeah. was another Grand Slam song. Yeah. So obviously the songs are quite strong. Yeah, which I wrote, you know, but yeah. there you go. I mean, we, we were trying and we just, just didn't get a deal. Do you think now I have. Buy my record. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll ever see Thin Lizzy back on the stage again or is that now something completely in your past? Um, there was something in the paper, uh, in the Daily Mirror yesterday, I think, saying that Thin Lizzy were going to get back together again. And there was a quote from the management saying that we might to get, get together to do a charity thing. We all, we all keep in um, close communication. I mean, I, I was working with Scott recently, and, and Brian Downey is going to play. See, I'm going to get a band together for March and tour with me, right. the album. I have another single coming out in January. And I'm doing another single with Gary Moore in Jan January. Right. Um, uh, so I'm going to get a band together, and Brian Downey has said he'll, he'll work in it. Oh, know. he's definitely going to be the drummer then? Yeah, so he, he said he will, so. And will this be a band featuring two guitarists again? That was kind of the Lizzie trademark, the two guitarists. Um, I may go for the two guitar thing. I, I don't know. I, I'm, at the moment, I'm just in the process of um, working it out, you know, like I'm checking out guitar players and keyboard players. And I, I really, what I want to do is finish the album. When I, when I get the album finished, then I'll know. With the band, what I need in the band to promote the album. Right. And uh, so, really, uh, but as far as Lizzie's getting back together again, I mean, we haven't thought about getting back together again. No. I'd like to establish like a solo career first before, you know, I start to live off past glories. You know. You say you're putting together a band at the moment. Will that be called the Phil Lineup Band, or will there be another name for it? I don't know because, I mean, the album's going to be. A Philip Liner solo right. album. Um, once I get, you know, minor details like what it's going to be called, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. You know, like I mean, it probably will be Philip Liner, and you know, I mean, it depends really. Uh, when I'm in a band situation, regardless of who's up front, or I like it to work. I like it to be, that to be given, right. and and take from all the musicians in the band. I don't like a, a dogmatic s structure where. I go, you play this and play the same thing every night. I like people to give input. Because the bass, the bass is part of the rhythm section, so it plays behind the voice or the lead guitar. So as a bass player, I like to play with the musicians. And obviously as a singer, you know, front it, you know. Right. So um, when I do get a band together, um, I, I'll be working on that basis. But probably it will be Philip Liner and... Forever. Mr. X, you know, whatever, yeah. Is the album... I'm Finn Lizzie. <laughs> Joke. 
Is the album going to feature a stable set of people on each song, or will there be special guest appearances from different people? Um, I'd like to take advantage of the, the fact that, you know, I'm solo, I'm free to work with whoever I want, so I'll try and get special guests, so like I'll John Sykes, or Brian Downey, and Gary, and, you know, just various different people. I'll try and get people that suit the particular songs that are going to be on the album. And what sort of material will that be? Will it be very varied, or will it be more aggressive? Um, well, I like, with the album, the producers that I'm going to use on the album, I'd like to go over the material with each individual producer. For example, they have Tom Dowd, who does, like, Phil Collins, and Eric Clapton, and he did Molly Hatcher. Molly Hatcher, yeah. Um, he's been around ages. Now, he likes certain songs that I've written, because I've got, because of... You know, it's two years since Lizzie broke up. I, I do have a lot of songs written. So I'll go with the songs he likes, if I like them, and get them ones produced. And the same, say I got Peter Collins to finish off the, the rest of the production off. I'll go with that. But in general, it should be more balanced than, say, my other solo albums. Because when I had the other solo albums, I was in Thin Lizzie, and Thin Lizzie took all the heavy stuff, and I got all the fish that John West rejected. And uh, I, I saw my solo albums were much softer than I was, whereas this time there should be a better balance. There should be more upfront hard stuff and a couple of balance maybe thrown in. I understand so, you've done some writing with Huey Lewis. Will any of that appear on the album? Um, I've done some recording with Huey Lewis. We haven't done... We, had, we didn't write anything together. He was uh, producing some stuff. He took me out to San Francisco. He wanted me to try one of his songs. and. He liked one of uh, the songs I'd written, so we got together and do that, and did that. And uh, everybody seems to like it, so that may, may end up on the album. I'm not really sure at the moment. Mm. What I really want to do is get in and, and have it on tape, and then pick the best from what I've, I've done. That LP was never finished due to Lionett's death, which may be attributed to his addiction problems. He attended a drug rehabilitation centre in 1982 for treatment, but was arrested.